All right, hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So after this, I um, or after this video, after the haul part, I will be talking about my mission trip to Nicaragua. But I will tell you guys when that is. So if you don't want to be there for that, but that is understandable. Anyways, this is from a couple Goodwills. I've been listing so much. I've been so proud of myself, and I'm gonna keep doing that. But I did go to Goodwill today. But I'm trying to be selective. So I'm bringing in, like I think I picked up. I got three, four things today. And I listed like 15 so I'm trying to like so if I bring in 10 ho 10 items I'm trying to like list um like 10 more so I let them list 20 that day so if I because I really want I can't stop thrifting anyways I'll just show you the shoes um yeah so this is actually a new brand to me uh I looked them up I could not find a single eBay or Poshmark comp I actually didn't look at eBay but this is the brand there you go. So it's called Utilitarian. And these are, and then under it says gender neutral, which I'll talk about that in a little bit. They're size 40, made in Brazil. These retail are still on the website right now. They only have like a few, I think it's like a newer brand or something, or not a very popular brand. Anyways, they have a few on their site. And these retail, I think, for $390 or $380 or something. I'll pop up the exact a style. Um, yeah. So these were the half of color of five ninety nine, as you can see, um, and that's their logo. It kind of like, reminds me of like the Marnie logo, like on, on their shoes, but it's not. They've set a little bit of wear of the tips, like in condition, probably. Um, but anyways, so they color shoes gender neutral. I would, I would not wear these. I, yeah, I'm gonna list them under women's, uh, and most of it. Like, all their shoes on their site are kind of like this, where... I'll just scroll through the site, honestly, where it's... Deba I mean, debatable. I mean, technically, like, if you really wanted to, you could, like, wear anything, but, like, that's not me. So, yeah. Anyways, okay. Next pair of shoes, a resale in my area, like, photograph. Like, she took the picture of them at the thrift store, but she didn't get them. And I saw them, and I'm like, oh, those... These feel like nice quality. So, I look on the inside. Uh, they just have, like... They do have some wear to them, but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but I will try to take a picture of it and okay, well here's the brand. Here's part of the brand. It says Grenson. Um it has a style number and all that. It's in England. So I'm gonna look that up. Um obviously they have some wear signs at a leather. I haven't conditioned these yet, but they were eight dollars and four cents. Um size eight men's I believe. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'll just try them. Uh they do have some signs of wear. So that's maybe why she decided to pass on them. Um, but I had my 10% off for being a student, so go me. So that got me like 50 cents off probably, but better than nothing. And I'm probably listening to 85, because some of the comps, like for like the shorter boots, but well, this is a canvas, this is a leather. You know what, I might listen at like 65 instead, because yeah. All right, then this was not from the same store, but this was from a different store, which I'll tell you where I got. But these are, they have some wear, like this coloration. I listed these at $28. This brand, like, honestly disappoints me sometimes, but I pick it up, some like, half the time. These are OTBT, if you can see that, which is off the beaten trail. And these are size 7.5, and, and they're called the Nomadic Leather Upper, just like a laser cut uh, wedge sandal. So, uh, I, this was a half of color of $5.99, so they were $3. So, I was fine with paying that, and... We'll have to see how they do. I just hope they sell quickly, but I'm kind of on my shoe capacity right now, so yeah, I bet even though I got three pairs of shoes today. All right, these were very cool, and a reseller in my area, also the same one, also photographed these, and she even showed the back of them, and I was like, oh dang, that's actually a good find. I would pick those up. So this is the logo. Can you guess the logo by these? Uh, it is a leather, and these are actually Alice and Olivia. So I was kind of excited about these. I was happy that she left them because I'm thrilled to get them. I'm already cleaned down the soles as, yeah, she said that was the best they were gonna get, but maybe, but they were much dirtier than that. Um, I did not, she didn't, she doesn't wipe down the soles because I mean, people, yeah, I don't think that matters too much, but I've never found Alice and Olivia shoes. They are, th but I was like looking over for them. I'm like, there's probably something wrong. Um, but I was like, maybe there was no size, but it says size 37 there. 
So I looked up, and then I, I didn't check up comps, I just kind of had faith in them. Uh, so, but then I went home, and the comps were like, I saw one pair sold for 80 and one sold for 40, so probably less than like, eh, maybe 50 because of the condition, but, uh, I'm, I think they're cool to, they're like a front zipper, uh, suede, and this lining and like actual like lip part is leather, and it is very, very soft. I think it, I like, by the description, it was like goat skin or something, but, so size 37 that's it well like a size 7 so not bad i think it's all for shoes so now we'll get into clothing um so these are just some lululemon like wonder under leggings they're the 28 inch ones so my sisters were very excited when I, they, they saw these when i brought them home but then they flip them over and they saw like this mesh and they're like oh so they won't wear these um but they have some like light pilling um so somebody definitely dry these but I went ahead and got them. Oh, oh, yeah. So, my neighbor found the same exact pair in black. And, like, I think a day or two prior to me getting these, she at the same store, she found three pairs of Rothy's. I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, that was crazy. So, I'm glad that she got them. Um, but, she, I'm glad she got them and not somebody else. But, I mean, I would I would not be mad about finding three pairs of Rothy's. But, it's okay. I will have my I will have my Rothy's time, but not it was not the time for me. So blanky size medium. This is a maternity blue leggings brand. So basically for these, I just checked them over for a condition because I've sold the black pairs like a lot of times. Um I check them over for condition and I remeasure them and then I use the same pictures as other listings besides like the size tag if they're a different size, because yeah. I mean, I'm not, yeah, so they're a fast listing, but I usually get like 30 bucks for those. This is a figs top, which I don't really pick up figs tops by themselves anymore, but this one I did because it was special. It's like that Barbie pink, and this is like a new, it's a, an interesting style. I don't really see this style a lot. I've never found this style, but it's like a, almost like a dolman. Like, look at that. This is an interesting, like, sleeve. It's like a dolman, kind of. Um, and it's like a polo almost, and then it like zips down. It's definitely women's, but size large, good size. I hope I was hoping I could find the matching pants to these, but I didn't. So, what was this? Oh, um, two, forty, yeah, four twenty. There we go. Uh, minus my ten percent off. So, probably get like thirty bucks for that, maybe mm, twenty five thirty. I don't know. All right, this I actually saw. I was going through the dresses, and I thought I saw this, and I was like, oh, my sister might like this. I think this is a cool style, and I like the color blue, that lace overlay. But then I looked and it was actually Sundance teal label, size small. So, um, this was for Ellery. And I just, uh, yeah. So she told me to sell it. Go, she tried it on. She liked it too. And she told me to go ahead and sell it. But it was $7.23. So I'll probably set it at $50. Sundance used to always be a pickup for me. But now it's really not. I don't do the best with it anymore. Okay, I'm editing this. And I just wanted to pop in to say, like, this dress. So... I could not find any listed on Poshmark and eBay, and I'm like, okay, this is, like, weird, because I was like, I think I can search it out by saying, like, blue lace overlay, like, Sundance dress or something, and it should be, or maxi dress, and I, I should be able to find it, but I could not find it, so then I took it to Google Lens, and I Google Lens it, and I sh the first thing that popped up was the dress on the Sundance website, and I'm like, okay, perfect, so like, let's see what it's from, so it's still on the site for $268, and I was like, okay, there's none, I wasn't really sure how to price them, like, okay, there's none available, like, online, um, it's still available every, in every size, um, it's not on sale, and I'm like, okay, mine's a size small, so let me just, I'm just gonna sh shoot high and price it at $100, which I don't get anything near that for Sundance, it's more of, like, a bread and butter brand for me, but I priced it at $100, and within a few days, it sold for full price to Google buyer, so I think I probably should have priced higher, but I, I mean, I'm, th I was expecting like probably like forty to fifty dollars for this, but I was, I'm still thrilled with a hundred dollars. Like that's crazy for Sunday. All right, I went to another Goodwill that I don't. I've only been to four times. It's like thirty minutes away, and it's like not in the best area ever. But I found really good things there before. I found like two pairs of mother jeans, I found like Lululemon, but it was just not a good day. But that's okay. But these are Jay Peterman. And my second time finding it, I found it like a week ago, like prior to finding this, but. Probably new without tags, but I'm, yeah, but they're black, high-waisted, straight-leg, silk pant. But and then the other thing I found that I left behind were a pair of Paul Green boots, and they're in pretty good condition, but they were $6, and I left them, and I, because I was like, 
I have so much to list. At that point, I probably had 200 things to list. Now I probably have like 100. So, but I don't know. I just, I don't know. And I, I regret not getting them, but that's okay. It's okay. You, it's okay. Uh, whatever. It's okay. Alright, my sister got, so for my birthday, my sister got me some Lulu, and then she also got me these, these are Lululemon men's shorts. She got, when she went thrifting in Nashville, she found these. These are 9 inch, um, I'm not exactly sure on the style, because they look like the pacebreaker, but they're not, because they're not the same material as the pacebreaker, um, as I'm wearing. And they're a size medium, so, um, yeah. Those were three dollars and ninety seven cents there, but then they have like other Lululemon leggings there for fifteen dollars. So I was happy she found these, but these are black Lulu, same style, size medium. So best birthday present ever is money, right? And I basically got money. So you know it's gonna take me a little bit of work. She also got me this Patagonia. I don't think I would pick this up honestly, but she knows Lululemon and Patagonia are my favorite brands to wear. So I don't. I think she knew I was gonna sell both of them, but she got them for me, which is nice. Oh, and she also got me this shirt I'm wearing. She got found this at Goodwill. Lululemon. I was, I never found Lululemon my size, so I was like, very excited. All right, I got these at a garage sale for $1. They're North Face size 10, just zip off, um, convertible hiking pants for a dollar. So I was like, okay. And then these were Marmont size six, I think also a dollar. So gray. I kind of regret picking these up, but that's fine. I'll probably get $20 for those, and 25 to 30 for the North Face. All right, these are at Goodwill, and I was very surprised by them. So they are Under Armour, woman size, extra small. Um, and my sister was thinking about wearing these to Nicaragua because it gets, like, rainy there. But, uh, but when we got home, we realized, like, they were new tags. And the retail on these is $130. And then, yeah, so, it, the tag, like, is kind of crumpled, but, yeah, so, uh, but they ended up being too big for her, so, uh, not Ellery, but Tatum, um, my twin, so, I'm gonna list them, but they're nice, like, kind of like a boot cut style. Alright, are we almost, I don't, oh, okay, this is a, um, American Giant hoodie thing size women's extra large good size uh this brand does not do the best for me sometimes but it has done well in this like signature style which is like their uh like signature this is like their weather known for is their signature like jacket so there's that so i'll pick that up but i have left it up before but yeah all right but i have left this brand before too but i just sold something from her today for 65 dollars you guys probably see this in, like, at least every one of my hauls, if most of them for sure. But, um, Eileen for sure, this is a size medium-large. And this is one of her, like, ponchos. So, I'm not gonna leave an Eileen for sure poncho behind. It's, like, striped. Especially in a good size, like, a medium-large. And she always runs big. All her stuff, like, always. Not always, but you know what I mean. Um, a majority of the time. And it's just 100% organic cotton, but that's alright. Um, what, oh yeah, what's next? What is this? I don't remember. Oh, this was for me. Well, this is like a really, like, rich people brand. So, this is, okay, I'm not going to try to pronounce it. A Maryland Zeldo Zegna. There's a tag. In Italy, and it's like this gray t-shirt. And it has like a logo there, which most people aren't going to know. But I'm, I like, I, I actually really like the fit of this. So, and I like the feeling. It's a nice cotton. So, I got that for me. So, Okay. Probably retail for $150, and I got it for, like, $2.48, so I mean, like, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna complain. Alright, this is Patagonia, size 31, just men's swim shorts. Um, nice condition there. And, right, or, and, like, probably from the same person, this one, Patagonia, just, like, polo shirt. I don't know, these never sell well for me, but I got it anyway. Alright, which is the thing? Oh, I got this because it was my size. I think it was probably from the same person. It was $4.99. Um, size so small Patagonia, and I was like, oh, I might wear that. No, I'm not gonna wear this. I'm, I'm just not. So, I wish I left that one, but that's okay. Um, uh, I'm not gonna close to this side, because I'm not gonna keep them. Okay. What is this? 
Oh, oh yeah. This, okay, so over literally a year ago the other day, I had that one, you remember that one garage sale that I went to where I found like the 20 Tory, okay, not 20 Tory Birch, but like probably eight Tory Birch and 50 Lululemon. So this is from it, and my sisters didn't want it anymore. It's like an oversized black t-shirt um, from Lululemon. So uh, I wish you, yeah. I, I want to go back. I like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if she's gonna have another one or not, but like I really want her to because it was so so good. All right, well this is my first time finding the the spread of the wild. I have a pair listed, um, from Close Mentor ninety percent off sale, but they haven't sold yet. So whatever, but they're closed. So I was happy to cross it off like off my list because I found it at the actual thrift store. They're size twenty six and they're the pedal icon eighty five, and they were like a um, like a jort um Bermuda like. Really interesting style, but they're Raham, like, jort. So, um, leather patch on the back. And how, like, they always have, like, this logo on the fly. So, but it has, like, they're really high quality, I'll give them that. But, um, very interesting style. Um, yeah. But I'll probably list these at, like, 45, maybe 35. I don't know how those are going to do. I'll probably list them at 45 and drop the price if they don't sell. But, yeah, because I couldn't really find comps on those, so... Oh, these are, these sell really well for me. Cool, size 8, and they're like the splash shorts. So I pretty much always pick these up when I see them. These don't have a logo, though. Usually they'll have like a logo on the back right here, but I don't see one. So I don't know if that's going to hurt the value or not, but whatever. This was like with all the Patagonia shirts. This is Topo Designs. This brand is a bolo. It sells very well for me. Uh, everything I've sold from it has sold in literally less than two days, but I'm keeping this. It's a green, so, you know, I love green. I love the color blue as well, but... It's a logo Toba Designs, green t-shirt, size small. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that. And this was $4.99. So, happy about that. I'll probably sell it for 30 bucks in like two days if I listed it. All right, then these brand I have been passing on, but beta brand size extra large petite. I do uh, pick it up in like unique styles and colors, but these are a, like a boot cut. Like, uh, these are actually like a legging. These aren't like a work pant. So, yeah. Um, and these were four nineteen. So, um, I'll try them out. Probably thirty bucks for those. Twenty five to thirty. Um. Okay. And then, oh, okay. Oh, so I got this scarf just because I thought it was a really cool pattern. Um. So it was one dollar and forty four cents minus my ten percent off. So you guys can see. This was on a new back. So it looks like that. And it's, it's definitely silk. Okay, full disclosure, I did not get it because it was a cool pattern, but I got it because the brand is like a very designer brand I crossed off my list. This is Bottega Veneta, and it's authentic. It has like the rolled edges and uh, pure silk made in Italy. Um, but this pattern is cool. Like when I, I was on a new rack, and it was right next to an Ancline scarf. But I felt this, and I was like, wow, that feels really nice. And I look for the label, and I was so surprised to see Bottega Veneta. So, I think it's very cool. Um, I did have, like, one, like, flaw on it somewhere. It was, like, a run or something or other. Uh, but it was fine. I was not going to leave. I was not going to leave it. Um, but very cool. I'll probably list this close to $100. Because I could not find anything like that. And some of the comps were very good. Alright. Then I went to a Goodwill. That is... I actually... It's either... It's... When it, like, hits, it hits. But when it's bad, it's bad. It's hit or miss. But I can find a few things. Good things there that I'm happy about. Okay. AG Adriana Goldschmidt. The legging super skinny ankle. Okay. This style I don't always pick up. But these have, were a size 28. Which is... A, or 27. Which is a good size. I mean, it's an okay size. But... For whatever reason, AG black skinny jeans do well for me. Skin not all like, yeah. I've tried selling this style from AG uh, before in blue wash, and they didn't do that well, unless they're like a big like a size like thirty one or thirty two or thirty. But I've sold the black AG skinny jeans very well, so yeah, I'm gonna continue to pick them up, and if they continue to sell for me, but they have like a slit there too, so yeah, I was happy about those. All right. 
then I was making my way down the racks a little bit more. And this is a Bola brand. I was so excited because I really did not think I was going to find this brand. Um, but they are a high-waisted, dark wash, wide leg flare jean. And this is the brand Goop. So G dot is the, is the brand Goop. Size 6. So this brand, you guys are, if you're working, I hope you guys are. But uh, just look very quickly at this brand, G Dot. It's called Goop. And it's really hard to look up just G Dot, but it's high quality. I always look up tags that are tacked on, which means that has a stitch there and stitch there. They tend to be a little bit more expensive to do that. So yeah, um, they're made in Los Angeles. And then, yeah, these are called like the Mel Jeans. I'll probably list these at $150. So very, very exciting. I'm very excited to cross this brand off my bubble list. And I wasn't really expecting to find this brand, but I did. So I'm happy about that. But there's always brands I do expect to find, but I haven't yet. And yeah, but whatever. All right, then, okay, I saw these and I just like, pull them off the rack and I looked at them from the front and I felt them and I just like I don't know why but I looked at the seams and I was just like okay those look like Lulu and I felt that and they were Lulu which I don't I don't know instead of like looking at like inspecting them for like 10 seconds I should have just flipped to the back but I didn't but these are like a printed straight leg uh pant so happy about those and maybe they were skinny like I don't know but it doesn't really matter but they're not legging but they're more of a pant size six so probably like this is up 40. It was so odd because I was literally right when I was in the active wear section, I was like, huh, I've never found beta brand in this store. And three pairs down, I kid you not, was a pair of black beta brand pants and a size small petite. Now, I don't really pick up the black beta brand pants anymore, um, but I do pick up like the more the uni unique colors like I was talking about earlier. Okay, the next rack a pair of beta brand pants isn't that so I, I was like that is so odd like beta brand is like a semi-common i don't find it every third trip and i find it like i find it probably like once like a few times a month or maybe i don't know but um yeah these are lavender purple color size extra large so i got those um they're like i think they're more the other like the boot cut pants but i was like what in the like i was like that's so weird yeah, I wish it could be like that for every brand. I'm like, oh, I haven't found Valentino in a while. Oh, look at Valentino, but it's not like that. So that's okay. But sometimes, or I feel like I always talk about this too. Like if I think about an item and then it like will sell the next day. I don't know why. It's just crazy. Okay, this, I would have left both pieces if they weren't a set, but this is fig size extra small. And this is fig size small. Uh, they're different sizes, but they're both black, and I will list them as a set, and I'll just mention that, but uh, the sets do way better for me than the singles. So, the singles used to fly, but now they're kind of sitting for me a little bit, and I don't have them priced too high. So, yeah. Alright. So, on my mission trip back from Nicaragua, so we flew, we had to spend the night in Charlotte, and we did not do anything, um... In Charlotte, we were there for the longest. It was my birthday, May 29th, and we literally did not do anything in Charlotte. That was, I wanted to go thrifting in Charlotte so bad, but we didn't, and whatever. But, okay, then we went to Miami. We had a two hour layover, so I couldn't thrift in Miami, even though I would have liked to. And we went to Nicaragua, and then so we, we landed in Managua, and I got scammed by the, what a person up there. The, okay, I'll talk about that later. And then, um, we drove three hours to Hinoteca, where the mission was that we stayed at, and then we drove back to Managua for after like five days in Hinoteca. We had a fun day in Managua, and then we flew to Miami, and then we flew to Dallas, stayed the night in Dallas, and in the morning we had two hours to do something, and I'm like, I am going to the thrift store, so, but I can't remember myself, so my, my mom and sister Tatum went with me to the Goodwill, and I got, I found some things. This was the Goodwill in, um, I don't know. I will pop it up on the screen. I'll post a picture of it. It was okay. The pricing was very high, but it was all flat pricing, and I did not see a single thing marked up, which I appreciated. But the again, the pricing was very high. The dresses were $10, um, and then the formal dresses were, like, 15 and, like, 
t-shirts for like six or seven or eight. I was like, oh geez. But I got a few things. So my mom found these. These are just some cropped leggings from Lululemon. Um, there's, yeah, I don't know. Size eight. So I got these. These are like the Inspire crop. I'll probably, get, I'll probably get 25 or 30 for those, but they sell for me. So, all right, this was probably, no, it wasn't. Okay. This was Jack. I was really, okay, first of all, like, why is somebody wearing this in Texas? Like, I get, like, it gets, like, six, four, 50 degrees, but I would never wear this here at 50 degrees. Jack Spade, size extra, extra large, men's, heavy, like, a heavyweight sweater. Like, that would make me so hot. I don't know if it, where the barb is for this. Oh, she also charged me kids pricing, because what I did at the register, like, yeah, wait, one second, I'll just finish this. This is a 13% wool and, like, acrylic and nylon. Is like the other stuff but um so she charged me for men's sweater for that but these she charged me kids pricing for because i just had them like folded up like that and they look like little they look like kids so same with these these are free people movement the way home shorts um there's a logo it looks like a wheat um but the um blending is cut out but these are size medium these are marked for my sister for her birthday on july 8th so all right, this was oh, very exciting for me because, okay, if you know, you know, but I want to go to Baylor and it's, it's like a size medium. It's like a champion sweatshirt. These are like $60 at like the actual store. So I was like, if I'm going to pay like $6 at Goodwill or however much it was, I was like, okay, sure. All right, and this was my very best find, I think, from Texas da or Dallas area, whatever. Um... Here's the little barb. They charged me sweater pricing for this. So I was like low key. Or I, I was happy about it. So, cause it's, I, it is a sweater, but like I could have seen them charging me for a dress for this. Cause it's very long line. And I was like, okay. I mean like this brand isn't like designer or anything, but like the style is very good. It says cost COS, uh, size medium. And uh, this is a long line, like cow neck. Okay, turtle neck tunic sweater with like a side slit and it was like okay sure uh, i was like okay when i saw when i saw that i was like okay i'm gonna get it i have decent i've actually pretty i do pretty well with this brand um but then i looked at the fabric tag if i can find it again okay and it is 91 percent cashmere and nine percent wool that's a great fabric combination i looked and i looked i didn't see a hole Probably because somebody didn't wear much, because I don't really know why you need this in Texas, but clearly they still wear, like, jackets and stuff. So, hooray. Right. All right. So, I'm going to talk about Nicaragua now, just for, like, five minutes, probably. But if you don't want to stay for that, like, I understand, and I don't blame you. But let me know your favorite thing. Um, Thank you so much for watching. Right, my favorite thing was the goop jeans, for sure. But I'm happy about this for myself. Um, And then the cost sweater. So... Those are my, and the Alice and Olivia sneakers, I think those are cool. But, that's, those are my favorites. But, um, let me know if you're a thing. I'll see you guys in the next video. But, so, Nicaragua was really fun. Um, so I went on a mission trip and stuff. So, basically, I'll just sum it up very quickly. I'll try to pop in some pictures as I'm going. But I built bricks so we could build a, or, so the first day, I, um, oh, I did construction. So I cut rebarb. And, like, to make rebarb, to make a house. Oh, yeah. And these people, like, live... Like, if we saw some of their house... Like, the majority of their houses, like... Okay, like, all the houses I basically saw, we would consider them to be, like, borderline homeless in the United States. Like, they were, like... It was crazy. Like, we are so privileged to live in America because, like, some of them didn't have running water. We couldn't even drink the water because it was, like, unsafe. So, like, the things we take for... Granted, America is just insane. And, like, people are always, like, complaining about, like, living in America and stuff. Well, have you, like, been out of the country and seeing, like, the living conditions? Like, we are so fortunate to, like, even, like, the home... I'm, like, even the homeless people in our country are for fortunate, like, sometimes. Because, like, the homeless people there in Nicaragua, they don't have homeless shelters. Like, they don't have that. Like, the people don't even have, like, houses. They don't even have running water. So you think, like, the homeless people are going to get, like treatment like i'm so happy that in our country we actually i mean obviously not every homeless person has helped but like we we are so lucky to have like shelters for those people to live and like give them meals and stuff because some people like 
I mean, some people die from starvation in America, but, like, you think about there and how many more people die there. It's just crazy. And, like, the places that don't have running water and, like, we can't even drink the water. Like, we couldn't even brush our teeth with the water there because even the mission, like, the mission was, like, fine. I mean, it wasn't, like, a luxury hotel or anything, but uh, it was, like, I mean, it, it was fine. It was fine. But, um... Like they they had running water there and stuff, but no air conditioning. But it was it wasn't that hot, honestly. It was it was very humid. Um, yeah. So that was like a little bit like I was like, huh? Because I don't know. But like they are so grateful and for everything they have in America. We are so greedy. Um, we always want more, but they're oh wait, they're satisfied with what they have, and they have so little. It's like kind of like crazy. So, anyways, I will probably be going back next year, so it was a really great experience, but my favorite part was we got to play softball with, like, the Nicaraguans, and I got to pitch, and that was fun, and then we went ziplining for a fun day. We saw, like, a volcano. It wasn't really that active, but we saw, like, a volcano, and then we went ziplining in the jungle, and I saw a wild monkey, and I heard a wild monkey, so that was crazy, but... Yes, so that was my favorite part. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. But yes, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I don't think that was five minutes, but uh, very excited to talk about it. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next.